Now, Sonoma County, again, has the most aggressive target dates of any place in the country. And they say in the Santa Rosa Climate Action Plan specifically that you must no longer use gas appliances or gas equipment. So we looked at that and we thought, what do they mean not using gas appliances or gas equipment? And only Energy Star rated. Well, we did some homework on that. We found out that Energy Star rated appliances and equipment do not manufacture anything in gas. So they're eliminating gas. They're narrowing down your ability for resources so they can charge you more for electricity, which they can monitor with the smart meters. Now they want to monitor everything with the smart meters. That's the goal. That was the goal in technocracy back in the 30s. They want to monitor all energy consumption. So ultimately your propane tanks will be monitored. Your private wells will be monitored. They want to monitor it all. And that's why they want the RFID chipped appliances so they can monitor if you're using your oven. Now, when I was doing some research on smart meters, I discovered in Europe, IEEE, which is the electrical and electronics engineers, they were scratching their head. They had just gotten out of a Delphi meeting. And these engineers that worked for IEEE said, what is going on here? They're telling us we have to put in smart meters because of global warming. But global warming hasn't even been decided upon. So we have these very smart people leaving meetings, scratching their heads like many of us do when you've been Delphied, because you've been led. Anytime a meeting is shaped with a, an outcome that is a, a required outcome, they manipulate all of you. They have a trained facilitator uh, that leads the group. They ask the questions. When we went to the Climate Action Plan public, not public workshops, they had these boards around the room. They said, we want you to write your questions on these post-it notes and put them on the boards. We want you to answer this question, they said. What could you do to reduce your greenhouse gas emissions? They did not want any other questions asked. And when about 10 of us were in the meeting, we, and they were showing a PowerPoint, and we would ask them a question, they didn't want to talk to us about that PowerPoint or the question. They said, well, just at the end. Well, we learned quickly after going to a few years of Delphi meetings, there's never an end. They never get to an end. There's never an opportunity to ask questions as there will be tonight. Because again, the RAND Corporation set up this meeting style to run the corporate structure of the globe. This is a corporate meeting style. And it is important to understand that. They've mastered the control of us at meetings. And we leave disturbed and frustrated. It doesn't matter what meeting we go to. We can go to school meetings. We can go to um, CPUC meetings, California Public Utility Commission meetings. We can go to our city halls, our county board of supervisors. It does not matter. That's why we're having a people's town hall. So the climate action plans also not only require the replacement of all inefficient appliances and the retrofitting in all homes, existing homes. So if any of you that do not have RFID chipped Energy Star rated appliances, you're going to be forced to replace them. Also, it's going to require the replacement of all of your heat and air conditioning equipment if it's gas. Any bathroom fans, anything at all that plugs into an outlet in your home must be Energy Star rated. They're going to have in-home energy audits, and this is the part I love the best. The Department of Energy a few weeks ago announced that they're training energy audit assessors that will sweep through our communities and knock on your door and ask for an energy audit. In fact, many of you already may have been contacted by PG&E that's offering free energy audits. Don't let them in your house. So what does that mean when they come into your house? Well, it means that they're going to have a scorecard between one and 10, one being inefficient and 10 being efficient. They're going to use your zip code. 
They're going to use the square footage of your home. And the information that you gave on your census on how many people occupy that square footage, that's all going to be determined on the sustainable use of your home. They're going to bring in equipment. They're going to test, for example, the lighting, if there's any air intrusion. They're going to test the windows to see if there's any leakage. Now, some of this is not a bad thing. Some of us might want to know how we can upgrade things in our house, and that's fine. Uh, weather stripping. But they're going to require possible increased insulation in your roofs and in your walls. They're going to require down the road that you, don't, you paint your roofs white and that you have all of the required appliances. And you're going to be written up. You're going to be on a massive data bank. And they're going to require that you implement all of this. But not to worry. They've arranged for loans, green loans. <laughs> they're going to... Thanks. Well, I wanted to show you this. I'm getting to the loans. But this is actually um, a sign in part on the 101 freeway uh, at the IKEA dealership. And the top of that sign says, kiss your gas goodbye. So that gave us the idea that we can all kiss our gas goodbye. Because the Energy Star appliances are eliminating um, gas appliances and gas equipment. In fact, we made some calls to some of the local appliance dealerships to ask them if they knew that they were going to have to quickly sell all of their gas appliances. And if they knew about these climate action plans. They said they didn't know about these plans, but they didn't believe it. And it's written in the plan. All they have to do is go and look on the Santa Rosa City website and pull the plan. That's the problem. We don't believe what the plans tell us. And we need to start paying attention because this is happening. And we need to know how we can fend off what we see happening. These are the opportunity for you to get financing for your required retro.